Do flames contain plasma? This seemingly straightforward question actually delves into the complex realm of chemistry and physics. Contrary to common belief, not all flames are hot enough to become plasmas. To truly understand this, let's start with a clear definition of plasma. Plasma is essentially an ionized gas, where electrons have been stripped away from atoms, leaving behind positively charged ions. However, it's not just about the presence of ions, there must be a critical threshold where the gas behaves collectively. What distinguishes plasma is its ability to reflect low-frequency electromagnetic waves, essentially acting as a shield against electric fields. This collective behavior of ions and electrons is what characterizes a plasma, determined by factors like ionization density and the Debye length. Ionization in flames Now, in the context of flames, ionization occurs due to high temperatures causing atoms to collide and release electrons. This means the likelihood of a flame becoming plasma depends on its temperature. Lightning and sunlight are other examples of processes causing ionization. Take a candle flame, for instance. It burns at temperatures around 1,500 degrees Celsius, which isn't sufficient to generate many ions. Therefore, a candle flame doesn't qualify as a plasma. The colors we see in flames, like red, orange, yellow, are emitted by hot particles of fuel, not by plasma. However, certain flames, such as those from burning acetylene, can reach temperatures as high as 3,100 degrees Celsius, meeting the criteria to be classified as plasmas. It's important to note that the size of the flame also matters in determining plasma status. Temperature spectrum Flames from campfires, propane stoves, and cigarette lighters typically fall between the temperature extremes. Thus, whether they qualify as plasmas depends on factors like temperature and ionization density. In summary, while some flames do contain plasma, not all do. The distinction lies in temperature and ionization levels. Everyday flames from wood, charcoal, gasoline, propane, or natural gas usually don't meet the criteria to be considered plasmas. Ionization Mechanisms Delving deeper into the science of flames and plasma, let's explore the intricacies of ionization. When atoms collide at high temperatures within a flame, some electrons are liberated, leading to the formation of ions. This process is crucial for determining whether a flame transitions into a plasma state. It's important to note that while temperature plays a significant role in ionization, it's not the sole factor. Other mechanisms, such as electric currents in lightning or solar radiation in the ionosphere, can also induce ionization in gases. Plasma Behavior Returning back to the concept of plasma behavior, the collective response of ions and electrons to external electric fields is what distinguishes plasma from regular ionized gas. This collective behavior allows plasma to reflect electromagnetic waves, a phenomenon critical for various technological applications. The Debye length serves as a metric for the extent of plasma behavior within a gas cloud. As the ionization level increases, the Debye length decreases, indicating stronger collective interactions among charged particles. Considering the example of a candle flame, its relatively low temperature limits the extent of ionization within the flame. As a result, despite some ionization occurring, the flame does not exhibit plasma-like behavior and is thus not classified as a plasma. Contrastingly, flames generated from burning acetylene at high temperatures exhibit intense ionization, meeting the criteria to be considered plasmas. This is evident in their ability to reflect electromagnetic waves and their characteristic behavior in response to electric fields. Moreover, the size of the flame also influences its plasma status. Larger flames tend to exhibit stronger plasma behavior due to increased ionization density, further highlighting the complexity of this phenomenon. Everyday Flames Analysis Examining everyday flames from various sources like campfires or stoves, their temperature range falls within a spectrum. While some may approach the threshold for plasma behavior, most do not reach the required ionization levels to be classified as plasmas. Future Applications Looking ahead, understanding the dynamics of flames and plasma has significant implications for various fields. From improving combustion efficiency to advancing plasma technologies, further research in this area promises to unlock new innovations. Moreover, gaining insights into flame behavior can aid in addressing environmental concerns related to combustion processes. By optimizing fuel combustion and reducing emissions, we can work towards a more sustainable future. In conclusion, the exploration of flames and plasma unveils a fascinating intersection of chemistry and physics. 
While the distinction between flames and plasma may seem subtle, it underscores the complexities of natural phenomena. By continuing to unravel these mysteries, we pave the way for groundbreaking discoveries and technological advancements. Understanding the nuanced relationship between flames and plasma enriches our comprehension of the natural world. If you found this exploration informative, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Physics Daily for more captivating scientific insights. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery. Together, let's continue to delve into the wonders of the universe.